Hey everyone, uh, Tim here, and welcome to a brand new episode of Tim's Oregon Explorations. So today I am at um, the Short Covered Bridge, which is a mile and a half uh, north of the town of Cascadia on uh, Highway 20. Um, I'm actually just <laughs> returning from uh, Newport. Um, I'm heading back to Bend. Um, I've been in Newport for the last the last few days, so I'm actually headed heading back back to Bend right now. So I, I saw this um, on the map about a month ago, so I, I thought I would come here and, and check it out. Um, I think uh, short cover bridges are pretty neat. Um, I think this might be my first one. So um, I thought it'd be cool to, to check this out um, on my way back. So please follow me. Let's see, this is uh, the Cascadia day use area. Cascadia, a ranger station for 30 years. Construction began in 1930. The original ranger station was located between the Willamette Valley and the Sanium National Forest in the scenic, easily accessible, low elevation site. Uh, in 1933, the Sanium and Cascade National Forest combined to form the Willamette National Forest. Beginning in 1934, the Civilian Conservation Corps Company 2907 stationed at Cap Cascadia built a new ranger station, residences, and bunkhouses. The wall and warehouses are still standing today. In 1963, the operations conducted at Cascadia moved to Sweet Home into a new ranger district office. Uh, let's see. Phone lines ran from the valley over to the eastern part of the state where, and were maintained by the CCCs and early rangers. These lines were a critical means of communication among the Forest Service lookouts watching for fire starts in, in, in San Diego National Forest. Uh, the CCC operated at Camp Cascadia from 1934 to 1939. They built 35 miles of road, 80 miles of trails, 17 miles of telephone lines, 6 fire lookouts, 8 bridges, and 4 campgrounds. Today, lichen and mosses carpet this historic site. Lichens are composed of fungi and algae, while mosses are smaller green plants. Both provide food, shelter, nesting material for insects, spiders, mites, birds, and animals. Oh, over here, it's a few signs. And then we'll go check out this covered bridge. sign right here but it's very tough to read it's all dirty look at this one over here see a reminder of Oregon's past uh, covered bridges covered bridges are one of the Oregon's Oregon's little secrets in fact with 51 covered bridges Oregon has more covered bridges than any other state west of the Mississippi why Oregon the rain the rain. Pioneers didn't put roofs over their bridges just for fun. Uh, covering the wooden bridges kept them from riding away in the northwest damp weather. But bridge, bri bridge builders are practical people, and once steel and concrete came into widespread use, there was no need for quaint little roofs on bridges. Time marches on. And this is the one we're going to go take a look at, which is right over here. Let's go check out this covered bridge.
Let's see if I can get closer to that sign. So this is a short bridge, South Fork Sandia, built in 1945. This is the uh, it's a really cool covered bridge. This is neat. Yeah, so this is the South Fork of the Sandia River. covered bridge so this is uh, <laughs> well over 70 years old like 75 Pretty cool, huh?